So the single one right here is 11 wide. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And 12 high. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we can just go ahead and fill this box in. Okay, so now we have the actual screen area filled in. We can go ahead and actually start making the segment displayer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right to the corner there. And we're going to cut off uh, two from the corner, okay? So it's just going to be like that, two cut off, okay? And two on the inside of these. So we'll have one piece mid uh, missing in the center, okay? On here, we're going to go up three more. So it'll be an entire segment side of four. Skip one, do four more. Do the same thing. I'm going to go right here and show you that it's one, two, three, four, just like that. We're going to be deleting some of this, so I just wanted to go ahead and make that apparent. And one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, so we have now this is very symmetrical, and we have our sort of four sections of a uh, square or a rectangle, rather. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, fill in the center pieces. We're going to just do a centerpiece just like this and a horizontal centerpiece just like that. Okay, you'll see it right here. Oh, if I actually had it all lit up, which I'll do here. You can see that there is no actual centerpiece for this. So we're going to be getting rid of that as well. Boom. Okay. And we're going to turn all center segments into redstone like I previously talked about or redstone blocks rather so we're going to delete these these and these so essentially we're just replacing the blocks with redstone blocks um, and your result right now should be three horizontal lines with a segment or piece missing in the center there we go that's just to help you guys see now we're going to go ahead and we're going to count away and actually place our pistons. So our pistons are going to go there. So they're going to extend and reach. Okay, so basically when they get power, they're going to reach out there. Okay, so we'll do two more of these. Replace that. Okay, and two more of these. Three on this side. And then we're going to go ahead and place redstone repeaters down. Oops. Let me make sure. I can't really remember. Nope, I did not. Okay. Just making sure because I made a few uh, design changes the last minute. We're going to run redstone down the center right here. Okay. And what the heck, we'll put torches on them right now just to power them. And redstone on the sides connecting. Just like that. So you can see that the bottom is still powered just like that. Now we're going to do the same for these layers above. Make sure they're enough distance away so that when we power them, I'm just going to continue this way. I think it's easiest so we stay at the same level. Okay. Delete the center block. Build two and then it's going to go out there. Put our redstone torches down. Redstone signals and our repeaters connecting all the pistons and our last row up here. Oop, one too far. And we'll delete the center one again. Give us the working space. Put our torches down. 
length of redstone, and the repeaters there. So now we have the top sections again still powered, but if we go ahead and we actually get rid of these two, you'll see our top left and our bottom right of the segment is missing. Okay, so if that's working, then everything should be fine and dandy. Hold that back in. Okay, now we're actually going to start working on the vertical components, okay? So our first block is going to be, that we want to be powered, is going to be this block right here, and that block is going to have our a torch in it. So we're going to place a block right behind it, and we're going to place our first torch right there. Now you'll see with that, we went ahead and actually powered two blocks, like we said, because it's powering the block above it. Now we're going to place a block diagonally back, sort of like a staircase behind here, and place a redstone repeater right there. It's basically at the same height as the pistons, so just realize that, that that's uh, what's going on. We're going to spread this back, go uh, redstone, repeater, redstone, and then a torch. Okay, so now it should have turned off because it is now negating the power. We'll turn it back on just for the sakes right now, and then we're going to create a sort of a honeycomb or hexadecimal, hex, sorry, hexadecimal, <laughs> I was doing a different project. Never mind, a little hex sort of a thing, and we're going to then delete this block and place a torch. So basically it alternates torch, block, torch, block. Okay. You'll see now that this full left hand bottom segment is actually filled in. In order to negate this one, since we're always going to have um, these four blocks power, we're not going to have these two or these two. We're going to have them all powered at the same time, always or all off. We're going to go ahead and uh, put down this torch and run this line at top. So normally if this were to happen, we'd have to negate this segment by itself. But what we can do is we can just take our repeater, place it right there, and run our redstone right at top this torch so it powers the redstone. So we just go ahead and kill two birds with one stone. It's all powered off. And if we delete that, it's all powered on. We'll keep it on for right now. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So remember, we're going to do this. And sort of like a little hex thing. A beehive, honeycomb, whatever you prefer it, calling it. Oops. Place that back. Delete this. Place that there. Okay, put our repeater, our redstone, repeater, redstone. You could all, you know, you could do all repeaters, it doesn't really matter, I just, you know, that allows it to go a little bit faster. We'll have our torch placed there, then we'll have our redstone running there. Everything should be off, good. Now if we go ahead and break this, should it all be on, correct, good. Then we're going to go here and do the same thing. Just like this. This time it's going to be at the same level as uh, the pistons in this case. So we can do repeater, redstone again, repeater, redstone again. Okay. Up here we'll do repeater. And we'll loop this across. And now that we know that these this will power and uh, connect with that, we just I won't show you guys that because you guys should know that by now. Now this other one on for this last side here. Like that. Now we need to build it out. This one again is the same height. We'll leave that second space for it. The reason why we can't do all redstones or else it would interfere, so that's why I never really mentioned that. I just thought I would do it. Also, you want to make sure you put a repeater here because A, it will power this block, uh, negating the torch. And also, you don't want interference for this block to turn that on. Okay. Pull this one over the top. Make sure it extends to it. Goes with the redstone. And then the final repeater right there. All sides should be done. Good. So now we have two, three sort of in a mirror. Now we just need to make the vertical line and then we should be all done. Okay, so basically it's just the same thing. The nice thing is the redstone blocks and the redstone torch right here, they do not interfere with each other, which is awesome. Like that, it works out super well, and I'm really happy that it does that, or else we'd be having to rearrange our design. Okay, just like that, same thing. Now we can build our honeycomb. Oops, don't want to delete that. Oops, don't want to delete that. Uh, we're going to bring this across, just like so, place our redstone on top, and place our repeater there, good. Now the next one, we'll do the top segment, 
Okay. Place our redstone torch on this side. Make our honeycomb. Okay. This one again is the, the same height, just like the last one as these. Bring that out. Bring the redstone, repeater, redstone, repeater. Extend this one off all the way to the back and run the redstone and then put the repeater at the very back. So now we should have a full system looking just like this and play around with it, test it out, see if it works. Okay, so just go ahead and play around with it. Let's go ahead and let's let's make a litter I, I guess. Or try our best rather at that. Okay. Now this should, if we get rid of these two middle segments here, produce a letter I. There you go, there's our letter I. So just play around with it, see if you can get some different letters and numbers and stuff. Again, all numbers will work on this, and most letters except for Y uh, and Z, I believe, are the only two letters that cannot work or else we'd have to make diagonals, okay? Uh, v will work, and I'll show you how that'll work a little bit later. But thanks for watching this this portion of the uh, uh, computer tutorial thing. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hoping it's simple enough. I'm hoping I'm going not really going too fast. So all in all, I hope you guys are liking it, and the revisions are going to be awesome. Next episode, we're going to be talking about actually building the screen, um, and also we're going to be talking about a little system over here that allow you to use a keyboard and not have to flip a bunch of levers. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.